Hey everyone, Reverend Geek here, and here is the latest on Star Wars Episode 7. Apparently there's three weeks left of filming. Three weeks, so that'll put it in post-production. Uh, it'll take that much time. They'll have time for reshoots, but three weeks, that's going to put it in November, so roughly 12 and a half months, 13 months from release. So, things are looking good. Concept art is still the big leak going out there. Um, so, we've got to begin thinking. What does the concept art mean? So, here's the thing. I finally got to look at a really good picture of the supposed uh, hooded figure. I don't know what to call him. Clone Luke, I was thinking. Some reports are saying that it's a cyborg. and You look at it, if you really do get a chance to look at it, again, I'm not going to post it. Uh, I've posted some pictures that have made it to uh, the official Twitters or uh, other accounts of uh, various things, people, places, whatever you want to call them, but basically legal things. Um, but people have been calling this a cyborg. Now, a cyborg could be what it is. Uh, looking at the face, you can see, I'll describe it, There, there is some what looks like human here and mm, looks like a skeleton or some kind of almost like the emperor maybe um, that swollen dark force type damage that happened in episode three but really um, it, it's hard like people were saying a cyborg hand I didn't see that there is a damaged, melted, melty, whatever you want to call it, Darth Vader helmet. This figure is looking at that. Uh, but it does have me still wondering. Clone Jedi, Clone Luke, uh, is this a cyborg? I really don't think that it is Luke Skywalker per se. There is no indication that this is Luke unless... Luke used force lightning and ended up destroying his face or, or something there is possibly some kind of mask but it does make you wonder who is this guy is this the new Dark Lord of the Sith who is it and how is he tied in why has Luke been hiding all questions will get answered but as much as the concept art is spoilery, I'm going to say that it's not as spoilery as people are making so, it. So, probably the biggest news um, that's come out in the recent few days, not really big, but uh, Warwick Davis is going to have a part in Episode 7, so he'll be uh, one of uh, three actors to have a role in all three trilogies, not all seven films, uh, that they will still go to Anthony Daniels and Ken Baker as 3PO and R2, respectively. Uh, but Davis uh, came in in Return of the Jedi playing Wicket, and then he had roles throughout the, the new trilogy, and now he's going to have a role in this uh, new film, so that's just a little bit of interesting uh, part. Uh, that came out a couple of days ago, so um, no idea what that role is. I don't think he's going to be a, an Ewok, even though one rumor is that some of the um, action may go back to Endor. It could even be Kashyyyk, which is the, uh, you know, Chewbacca is the Wookiee's home planet. But, you know, other than that, it's been it's really been a slow week. So um, that's it for the speculation. Um, our new, 
I think what I'm going to start doing is just making Star Wars videos since they're the most watched. Um, and it's easier for me given uh, my my time and, and everything going on. Uh, hopefully these uh, videos are getting better. Uh, I know a lot of people have been complaining about my nearly half hour video. And sorry for all that. Uh, I wish I could go back and remake it. But it is what it is. And hopefully uh, the news, you, you stayed in and watched the news. And, and uh, anyway. I'm tired, and I will see you later. Reverend Geek out.